Hey, what's up everyone? This is Corsair with AMB Log, and today I'm going to go over some simple motion tracking. So basically, we have this simple clip right here. And basically what we're going to try and do is take this white circle and track it to the character's face, so that way it follows it. So the first thing we need to do is get the tracker. So usually I'll go to Workspace and open up Motion Tracking. And this will just have everything set up for some simple motion tracking. And you want to make sure you have the video layer selected and you want to click Track Motion. Now there's some other options here, but um, for our example, all we'll really need is the position. Now your track point should stick to something that stands out in the clip. So for this one, I'm going to be using the woman's lips because they're a nice bright red, they're contrasting, and it'll be easy for the tracker to follow it. So what I want to do now is highlight and select the tracker, and just drag it over to where I want to track. Now the smaller box is going to represent what we want to track, while the large box will represent the search area. So what I'm going to do now is take the smaller box and just shrink it down a little bit, so that way we can get only the lips, because that's what we want to track. Now if there's one thing I've noticed about anime footage, is that it's not always very smooth. So if I were to fast forward one frame, her lips are going to move out of the search box. And that's bad because we won't be able to track efficiently like that. So what we want to do is expand the search box to make sure that her lips are always in range. The problem with this is that the larger the search box is, the longer this will take. Try to um, find a decent size that's not too large but not too small to make sure that you have some accurate tracking, but you also uh, don't make your computer spend like forever. Like for example, this would be ridiculous, you don't need a search box that large. But anyway, when you're ready to go, you have your search box set up, your target box locked on, you just want to hit the play button. And as you can see, it's going to start tracking the footage. And if you ever want to stop the motion tracking, you could just hit the stop button. And you'll notice all the position data is right there. So now what we want to do is take all of this position data and apply it to our circle. Um, this is very simple. You could just hit edit target and choose whatever layer you want to apply the data to. Um, by default, it'll just choose the one right above it. But uh, anyway, just go ahead and click apply. We want both the X and Y dimensions, so click OK. And now you'll notice we have a lot of position keyframes on our circle. And it will follow whatever uh, the motion tracking data is. So if we take a look at it now, we have a pretty good motion track. There's a lot of other features available in motion tracking, such as confidence levels, um, where it might guess if you can't get a good track what the motion should be like. Um, you could also adjust things like scaling if you notice the camera zooming in in this clip, so we should have made the circle get larger um, as we zoomed in, but that's okay. And you can do a lot of interesting things with motion tracking. You can easily do some things like scanners or HEDs or any high-tech effects like that. But anyway, uh, good luck, give it a shot, see you guys next time.